150 feet and 250 feet off the bottom. Unchanged for eons, the dark alien depths and miles of uncharted territory of the deep sea tease the curious with their unexplored secrets. Every time you go down in the submersible, there's always something that's a surprise. Every submersible dive is a discovery. My favorite thing is seeing some things that I didn't know existed before. Much of what lives in the deep is little known or understood. This includes a group of animals few people have ever heard of, some of which seem eerily like an outstretched hand reaching from the grave, while others look like a field of flowers. For the first moment I learned about crinoids, I've been enthralled with them. I just think they're beautiful organisms. Crinoids are the sea lilies and feather stars. They're one big group of the major branch of animal life called the echinoderms, which includes the sea stars, sea urchins, and sea cucumbers. Crinoids are often referred to as living fossils because the forms that exist now are very similar to some forms that existed during the age of dinosaurs. They've been around for a very long time. Crinoids are found all over the world. There are Arctic and Antarctic and tropical crinoids. There are some species that are found as shallow as just below the low tide mark. And there are crinoids in the deepest ocean trenches. My belief is these guys don't have natural deaths. They died to predation. In other words, they will live virtually forever if you let them. What remains to be discovered about these living fossils what can modern crinoids tell us about their ancient relatives?